Hey, it's Dave Salvadore with Blue Line Gaming. Gaming? Gaming? I think gaming. Thanks for coming to my new channel that's dedicated to my hobbies and crafting. I'm looking forward to the projects that I'm gonna be working on from my crafting corner in my studio. Recently, I played a game at the local hobby shop and it was a lot of fun. So I'm excited to share with you guys that new build that I'm doing for that game. So let's get right into that. The Marvel Crisis Protocol Miniatures Game. Super cool. That's really good awesome. art. I know, it's awesome. Yeah, it what? Oh, this is the rule book. Oh, nice look at these picture. great photos yeah. in there. And so we're gonna learn how to play this game because I played it once and it was super fun. Look at Iron Man. <laughs> so here are the player oh, cards. Yeah. See, you flip them over. There's the damage side. Nice. Oh, cool. And this Fair. is the healthy Thank side. You. Tons of little markers. Whoa, yeah. Figures are 40 millimeter. You get all this stuff. You get cars, you get, mm. oh, and the, the, the dice. Oh, Look at wow. these dice. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> the goal for this project is to create a city street modular board for the Crisis Protocol game. The first thing I did is to start with a quick template that I made in Photoshop to then print out and sketch the tiles that I wanted to create. I almost always start with a rough mock-up like this to figure out the scope of the build and work out any problems early. After I glued down the sketch to a piece of foam board, I cut out the squares so that I could figure out the different configurations with a modular board. Each side will have screws and magnets to change the configuration and help keep the panels attached together while playing the game. For this build, I'm going to make four city street pieces, four concrete pieces, and one intersection. Before starting the build, I wanted to assemble a few of the pieces with the game so that I can get an idea of scale. I quickly assembled one of the cars. I also assembled one of the 40 millimeter miniatures, which are super cool and really detailed. Then I assembled the Daily Bugle building. This is a quick mock-up piece that I had done to practice with the materials and the look of the whole build. I think it's really important to do these because you can practice with the materials without being worried about messing something up. For the foundation of the board, I'm going to need to create nine 12 inch by 12 inch squares. So I quickly created a template that I could just draw those squares easily onto the foam. I then use a long X-Acto blade to cut out the squares out of half inch XPS foam. The next step is to magnetize each panel. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take two 5 8 inch screws and you're gonna drill them in flush with the foam. You don't have to use two different size screws. I think you could actually use one size for everything. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take two half inch screws and you're going to sink them down low enough so that you can drop in two magnets on top of them to magnetize that side of the panel. You'll end up with something that looks like this, where you have one side with two screws and the other side with two sunk screws that you can then drop on your two magnets and they attach to the screw that's been sunk into the foam. It's important to keep the measurements the same on each side of the panel so that they all line up with each other when you're magnetizing them together. I chose to magnetize these panels together so that when you're playing the game, if you accidentally bump the board, 
you won't have the panels come apart. After I've magnetized the boards, the next thing to do is to keep those magnets from getting pulled out every time you play the game. To do this, I take a piece of primed styrene, that is very thin styrene, almost like a piece of paper, and I cut thin strips of it that I'll be able to then glue on top of the magnets to keep them from getting pulled out. I put the strips primer side down on a disposable paper plate, spray on some Super 77 spray, and now they're ready to place over top of the magnets, which I then use a roller to really make sure they're attached. All nine panels have been cut out and magnetized. They're ready to add sidewalks and roads to the city. You can make your sidewalks however big you want. I'm making mine one and a quarter inch square along with a quarter inch curb piece. To make the sidewalks, I'll be using quarter inch white foam board. I simply cut two 12 inch pieces that will be the sidewalks on each side of the road. Then you carefully peel up the paper that's on one side of the foam board. I learned that one side peeled up easier than the other. And then I used a light sandpaper to quickly knock off some of the extra particles that were on the surface. I also lightly sanded the edge of the sidewalk so that it would give it a little bit more of a rounded, realistic feel to it. Here's a quick glue test between 77 spray and hot glue. I'll tell you now that that Super 77 kind of melts the foam so it doesn't quite stick properly, but hot glue stays on there. You just simply glue down your foam board pieces for your sidewalks to create the road in the middle, and I did this for all four street panels. For the four concrete pieces, I just used that 12 by 12 template, cut out a piece of foam board, peeled off the paper on one side, and then hot glued it to the XPS foam. I did the same process for all four of the concrete panels. And for the intersection, which is the final piece, I measured out four squares that are the same size, cut those out, and then I used a circle template to round out the corners. Once you cut one out, it's easy to just transfer that shape to the other three pieces. After a little sanding, I hot glued each corner piece onto the panel to create the intersection. Here are all the final foundation pieces, magnetized and ready to move on to the next phase. I'm really happy with how this project is turning out so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching that crisis protocol foundation build. Next week, I plan to share the video where I texture everything. I didn't get rid of my Blue Line Design channel. I actually started as a second channel. There'll be a link in the description below. If you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure you hit that so that you can be notified of the next video. And until next time, keep gaming, keep crafting.